To be or not to be? That is the question about quantum superposition. Classical physics operates on definitives. A digital transistor can be on or off, a temperature can be measured precisely, a coin can show heads or tails, a bit can be a one or zero. However, this definitive nature can limit important technological systems. Quantum physics is quickly overcoming some of these long-standing limitations. The true power of quantum physics lies in its uncertainty, aka the potential for a quantum particle to exist in many possible states at any given moment. This ability for a quantum particle to be any possible state and the uncertainty of its actual state is called superposition. Here, we'll cover the basics of quantum superposition. To dig deeper on quantum computing and its implications for tech and cybersecurity, visit our site at the link above or in the description below. And remember to like and subscribe to Ion Tech for more videos on all things business tech. So how does quantum superposition work? Imagine that a coin is a quantum particle. The coin spins when you flip it into the air. In effect, the spinning coin is heads and tails and every proportion between the two states. While it's spinning in the air, you can offer up a probability of its state at any given moment, but you can't know for sure whether the coin is heads or tails until it comes to rest where it can be observed, aka measured. Of course, a coin isn't a quantum particle, but it's the same idea for actual quantum particles such as electrons or photons. For example, when a particle is used in quantum computing as a quantum bit or qubit, it can represent a logical one and a logical zero and every possible state between the two extremes. The actual state of the qubit is only known when its state is measured. The point where measurement takes place will force the quantum particle to choose its state and superposition is said to collapse. So why is this notable? In real world quantum devices, a quantum particle is encoded or programmed with a desired state or data. This is called its spin. How that spin changes can yield different use cases for quantum physics. In quantum communication, for example, the encoded particle can be transmitted from one point to another where its spin can be measured to reveal its original data. Quantum sensors use a variation of this idea. Physical objects will interfere with a particle and change its spin. By receiving the particle again and measuring any changes to its spin, it is possible to derive detailed information about the objects being sensed. The same idea applies to quantum computing. Because a qubit can represent a one, zero, or anything in between, one or more qubits can be processed through mathematical algorithms to perform incredibly powerful calculations in moments that would take traditional computers years, maybe even centuries, to solve. Despite its potential, quantum superposition poses problems for quantum scientists and engineers. Errors are easily introduced when measuring the state of a quantum particle or allowing the particle to accidentally interfere with other particles or objects. Designers are still working on ways to improve measurements and to detect and correct errors. Both will help to ensure more accurate and reliable quantum system behavior in the future. But the real world work continues and practical quantum systems are getting better every day. Do you think quantum superposition will change technology? Are you seeing impacts already? Share your thoughts in the comments and remember to like and subscribe too.